overdose vapes Keep your coils tight Keep your wicks wet If you're looking for new flavors I'm all about the clouds, bro Filling up a clear road We're dripping on the sub But we use for the juice While Trevor Josh Put a few on the tube And prepare for overdose Hello and welcome back to Overdose Vapes Travis here Doing a little review for you Something different today uh, Gonna look at a tank a sub ohm tank to be uh, exact. Not really my forte, but it was sent out to me um, by Heaven Gifts. You might be familiar with them. And so, hey, I'll take a look at it. I'm gonna get the, uh, I'm pulling it up here on my phone to tell you a little bit more about the tank itself. This is the green sub ohm tank by Carries, that's C A R R Y S. And it's a sub ohm atomizer with green 810 drip tip. And we'll talk about this drip tip. It's a big fucking deal. Um, it's a, got a green airflow control ring, uh, O-rings, and a coil cover. So we're going to talk about all that shit. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like what makes it, you know, the green tank. Uh, it comes with a 0 0.5 ohm G1 coil and supports 30 to 80 watts. Uh, with somewhere in, in the middle there being the kind of the sweet spot. comes in three colors. I got mine in green, as you can see. Um... So yeah, let's go close, take a look at it, um, just real basically, and then we'll, we'll talk a little bit more. So yeah, the green sub ohm tank. Um, this is the. Uh, I might as well just end the review right here. Watch this. The fucking drip tip. This drip tip is made out of um, you know some sort of rubber material. You know, Delrin esque heat resistant material. Um, it's like what they base the whole tank around is this material. The um, o -ring, the airflow control ring is really just a, like a. Um, one of those tank rubbers, you know, that you, you get for tanks or for your mod and shit. And you can kind of put it around the, the airflow hole. The airflow itself, you cannot adjust that. It's just you put this little rubber ring around it. And the, um, the coil is actually covered with the same material. There's like a little slip that goes over the coil as well, made out of the same material. Um, the material itself being that close to heat, it is what it is. You know, that's probably going to make some people nervous. To me, it doesn't really matter because it's not like... You taste the burning material. It doesn't burn. It's heat resistant. But this fucking drip tip just will not stay put in this device. I have spent literally hours of my life looking for this drip tip. You go to pull it out of your pull the mod out of your pocket. This drip tip just goes fucking flying. And since it's this rubberized material, if it hits like pavement or something, it bounces. Um, I've had to walk back and forth between my house and the car dozens of times because of this fucking drip tip and um you know i wanted to give this tank a fair shake uh because you know that's what i do i want to make sure that if you're going to go to buy this i give you my my uh, totally honest opinion about it and the tank itself is is ho-hum it's it's nothing special but it's also not bad you know for a sub ohm tank running uh this coil is 0. 0.68 so it's about a 0. 0.7 coil um it's not bad you know i rock it at between 50 and 60 watts depending on the juice depending on how I'm feeling let me take a toke of it I haven't used it in a couple days you know uh, just so you know so but I did use it every day for about two weeks so let me take a toke flavors are right the clouds are all right uh, it's nothing special but it's also like I said nothing nothing's wrong with it but it is you know uh, based solely on the fact that this drip tip is just prone to fall out and get lost um it's it's a no-go i would have to i would have to say do not buy this tank um if it was any other fucking drip tip it would be like yeah you know for the right price go ahead and pick it up but this drip tip man it just ruins the whole the whole experience uh the drip tip it doesn't fit other drip tips let me find another um drip tip here um hold on one second we're back so, um, I have a, a range of other drip tips, like for the goon and shit. 
Um, they just don't fit, you know, like they, same deal. They all sit in there, but then, now it's gonna go, just because the there's juice in there, but it'll just fall right out. Um, nothing fits snug in there. Um, it just, it won't, it just, it's, it's an odd size. It says 810, but it's just an odd size. The only one that fits snug at all is this little green rubber one, but like I said, it's just, it's just so prone to fall out that it doesn't, there's nothing holding it in place. It's a huge issue. And the only reason, honestly, the only reason I'm reviewing this tank is just to, to tell you guys to avoid it because of this green drip tip. Now, um, just so you guys know, like I said, Heaven Gifts did send this out to me free of charge. And they also did send out this badass vape mat that's sitting in front of me right now. But that's not going to influence my um, telling you guys that this tank <clears throat> is a piece of shit. Totally based on this drip tip. So, all right. Um, let me take another tote. I've had it stick to my... I've got, I've got stories upon stories because of this drip tip. It'll stick to your lips. It'll fucking get stuck in your pocket. It'll flop out in the car. It'll fucking fly out the window. It's a total pain in the ass. And the fucking fact that I still have this drip tip after like the month that I've spent with it is a testament to my dedication to maintaining this tank in its current form. So, one more tote. But yeah, it only comes with one coil. What the fuck is that about? It literally, the box it came in is very nondescript. It's a little green box. Um, it comes with one coil and a shitty drip tip. So, yeah, don't buy it. That's, that's all I gotta say. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Please keep the coils tight.